deforestation. D means to remove, forestation means forests. So, deforestation refers to the cutting, clearing and removal of forests and using the land for some other purposes. The two main causes of deforestation are natural causes, human activities. Natural causes of deforestation Forest fires In summers, when the wind blows, dry twigs and leaves of the two trees get rubbed with each other. Friction during rubbing causes trees to burst into flames. Droughts Droughts are caused by lack of rain over a long period of time. Even if rain occurs, water gets evaporated before being absorbed in the ground. Plants absorb water from the ground and they eventually die due to lack of water. Cyclone Speedy winds also damage the trees as they root out the plants. Deforestation due to human activity Procuring land for cultivation, forests are burned and cleared for farming or for plantations to produce biofuel crops. Farmers also clear the land for rearing cattle and often will clear acres of land. Mining Mining also results in deforestation. Digging a coal, diamond or gold mine requires the removal of all forest cover. Oil and gas extraction Digging oil refineries for oil and gas extraction also requires clearing of forest land. Building houses and in furniture factories. Trees are cut to build houses and making furniture. Logging. Logging is cutting down trees in a forest to harvest timber for wood or fuel. The forest canopy is important to the forest's ecosystem because it houses and protects plant, animal and insect populations. It also protects the forest floor, which slows down soil erosion. Overpopulation and urbanization As cities grow larger, to accommodate more people, trees are cut down to make more room for houses and roads. Consequences of deforestation Climate change Trees absorb carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. Fewer trees would mean that less carbon dioxide will be absorbed resulting in increased amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. This will lead to global warming as carbon dioxide traps the heat rays reflected by the earth and increases the earth's temperature. Drought Forests naturally cool down the temperature because they help in retaining moisture in the air. Cutting of trees leads to less water holding capacity in the atmosphere and increase in temperature. This disturbs the water cycle and may reduce rainfall. This could cause droughts. Effect on water table Water table is the common source of natural drinking water used by people living around forests. When there is rain, forests hold much of the rainfall to the soil through their roots. Thus. Water sinks in deeper to the ground and eventually replenishing the supply of water in the water table. But the supply of water underground could also dry up if not replenished regularly. Without trees, water from rain would simply flow through the soil surface and the water table would fall. Without forests, water from rain would simply flow through the soil surface, taking away the top fertile layer of soil. The rainwater washes the nutrients in the topsoil away. Removal of the top layer of the soil exposes the lower, hard and rocky layers. This soil has less humus and is less fertile. Gradually, the fertile land gets converted into deserts. It is called desertification. Deforestation also leads to a decrease in the water holding capacity of the soil. The movement of water from the soil surface into the ground is reduced. It causes floods. Habitat fragmentation Cutting of forests leads to extinction of biodiversity of microbes, plants, insects, animals, indigenous people as their habitats get destroyed. This force animals to enter habitats which are already occupied. 
This can pose many problems such as terrestrial conflicts, loss of their habitat, lack of food availability, migration disturbances. Deforestation also leads to water ground and air pollution. Reforestation is restocking of the destroyed forests by planting new trees. The planted trees should generally be of the same species which were found in that forest. We should plant at least as many trees as we cut. Reforestation can be natural or by human activity. Natural reforestation. In natural reforestation, there is no role of human beings. If the deforested area is left undisturbed, it re-establishes itself. Reforestation by human activity. We have already made a tremendous damage to our forests. If we have to retain our green wealth for generations, plantation of more trees is the only option. Forest Conservation Act in India is aimed at preservation and conservation of natural forests. Forests cover almost one-third of earth land surface. The global area of forest systems has been reduced by one half over the past three centuries. These are the homes of about 50% of all plant and animal species on earth. Loss of these valuable forests means the extinction of countless plants and wildlife species and disturbing the ecological balance. Forests provide multiple benefits to environment, people and animals. Forest attracts wildlife and offer food and shelter to them. They are the main source of timber for building the furniture as well as the firewood. Wood pulp is the primary source of raw material for paper industry. Plants help us breathe by creating oxygen and help stabilize the global climate by absorbing carbon dioxide, the main greenhouse gas. The root systems of trees, shrubs and grasses bind and hold the soil. The plants act as the shelter belts and prevent the winds from blowing the surface soil away. So, there is an urgent need to conserve forests. Do you know that it takes 17 full-grown trees to make one ton of paper? The wood is turning into pulp, which is then treated with chemicals that effectively break up all the cellulose, leaving only the fiber strings. The fiber is then used to make paper pulp. Colors and other additives are added as needed and the paper is created. Paper can be recycled five to seven times for the use. If each student saves at least one sheet of paper in a day, we can save many trees in a year. We should save, reuse, used paper and recycle it. By this, we save trees, energy and water needed for manufacturing paper and reduce amount of harmful chemicals used in paper making.